Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you all fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that you will be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news, INAC declares Bola Ahmed Tenobu, President-elect Tenobu scored 8,794,726 and also wins 12 states. Atiku scored 6,984,520 votes and also wins 12 states. Obi scored 6,101,533 votes while he also wins 11 states plus the FCT. Lastly, Kwakwaso scored 1,496,687 votes and wins just one state, which is Kano. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, EPC, as the winner of the 2023 presidential election the chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, declared Tenobo the winner at exactly 4.10 4, a.m. this morning in Abuja. By this declaration, Tenobo would be the 16th leader of Nigeria since independence in 1960. The former Lagos State Governor polled a total vote of 8,794,726 votes to defeat its closest rival and the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, who scored 6,984,520 votes, and Peter Obi of Labour Party, who polled 6,000,000 101,533 votes. The presidential candidate of New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Rabi Ukwakwaso, came a distant fourth with the total vote of 1,496,687 votes. Yakobo said the registered voters for the election was 93,439,008 registered voters, while 25,286,616 voters were accredited. He put the total valid votes at 24,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,024,
Yakubu said, said for senators and members of House of Representatives elect, the commission would issue a statement today on when the presentation of their own certificate would be made. Earlier yesterday, Tinubu had commenced move to stop Aziku and Obi from taking any action that would see to the stoppage of the ongoing coalition and announcement of the result of the election. Tinobu and his running mate, Senator Kashim Shetima, who were the plaintiff in the suit filed before a federal high court in Kano, in their motion on notice filed alongside the originating summons, had asked the court to make the order restraining the defendant from stopping the collation and announcement of the results because damages will not adequately compensate for the injury that may be occasioned on the plaintiffs if by the defendant stop the collation of the results. Also yesterday, INEC had responded to the ground well of grievances about the conduct of last Saturday's presidential and national assembly elections with an assurance that the poll would be reviewed when necessary in accordance with Section 65 of the Electoral Act. But I think that which one is better? Is it better to announce the winner first and then go back and start, you know, announcing later on that there were some places that uh, election did not hold and, you know, a rerun should happen or probably cancellation of results? How is that going to work out? I feel that INEC should have just, you know, cancelled elections where, you know, fake results were forwarded to them they should have just you know cancelled elections where bamodial machines were not used and wrong uh, figures were sent and so on and so forth instead of announcing the winner and then you now go back and do that one later i don't know how that is going to work but you know INEC is saying that after the announcement of the winner, they are still going to go on ahead to, you know, make sure that they make they, they, they make sure that they go through all the figures and and by the way, let me mention that there were some coalition officers that were protesting in I think Anambra in the east, one of the eastern states, saying that of uh, election did not happen in their polling units. One even said about 11 polling units that she was in charge. Election never took place. And by the time they heard on television, they were announcing figures for those areas. Please, where did those figures come from? Like where? About three of them said the same thing, that election did not happen in their polling units and they were, li they, were they heard that uh, uh, the INEC chairman was uh, busy announcing another figure on television. How did they come about those figures? Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video.